Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Celebrity Cars. The 2016 GT3 RS 911. <laughs> I call these a point and shoot because, you know, it's an automatic and you better make sure you're going straight when you hit that gas pedal, unless you really, really know what you're doing. Welcome to Celebrity Cars, folks. Yeah, this is, uh, this is just about as dreamy as you can get when you, when you come to a Porsche. And this silver and black combination, the yellow caliper is just kind of super sick. But yeah, welcome to Celebrity Cars. We're located in Las Vegas, just down the street from all the shiny lights. And uh, uh, you come here on vacation, you want to come see some cool cars, you stop by, you, you know, walk in, check them out, maybe you go home with something, I don't know. Um, but you clicked on this, uh, this 2016 here. It has just over 30,000 miles on the odometer and it's in beautiful shape. Um, I don't, let's see if it's gonna, I'm your living, breathing condition report here at Celebrity Cars. So I'm the guy that's gonna tell you about scratches and stuff instead of relying on photographs and, and, and all that stuff. So we, we go a little extra here at Celebrity Cars. Hope you appreciate it. Uh, I know a lot of you Porsche geeks are checking this car out right now. So hold on. Uh, I'm your condition guy. Go to Celebrity Cars to find out about its history, um, Carfax, where it's been, uh, all that kind of stuff. You wanna handle all that stuff at celebritycars.com. I'm just the guy that's gonna tell you where scratches are, like, like this one. We'll start right up here in the front. Got a small chip right here, a small chip here and here. Let's work our way right across the front of this nose. I don't see anything else. See a bug? A live one. Okay, uh, down here below, I don't know what that crud is, but there's a little bit of crud there. You can see a little bit of wear on these vents right here from uh, stuff beating up against it. This plastic has got a little bit of a, you know, taste of the curb or two, uh, but nothing's cracked. It's on here really good. I'm grabbing it and kind of yanking it and shaking it. No, the, oh, it is, it does it. Come on over here, Quincy, on this side. Boy, my eyes went right over top of that. There's a small crack right there. Didn't see it till just now. Goodness, wow, my eyes just, I gotta go get my eyes checked. Okay, all oh, this looks terrific. That's just a little bug. The lens here for turn signals have a little bit of patina to them, but they're fine, none of them are cracked. Over here, same thing, in good shape. Headlights have a little bit of patina on them, just little itty bitty marks on them. Folks, this is what happens when you drive a car down the road. It gets these things. This is your used car. You want to, you don't want scratches and nicks. You got to go buy a new one. Okay. Simple as that. All along here, looks it's just a wax, some wax product that's gotten stuck in there. That's what that is. See, it's kind of disappearing. Got to detail a little bit better. You see wax and crack over there too. Kind of gave it a dead giveaway. But yeah, but folks, there's barely any, any, anything down here. I, I don't, I have nothing else to point out. The hood. No dings. No marks. Wax again, some holes. It's beautiful. Let's work our way down the driver's side of the car. I'll come back up top here in just a moment. Front driver's side wheel and tire, no curb rash. Beautiful yellow brake caliper, tires look good. A Little bit of wear here. In the wheel well right there, no big deal. Uh, all this black plastic across the bottom, all this is on here real good. Uh, I see a little bit of, you know, uh, you know, slop up here. This is why they put a protector piece of uh, PPF right here on just about every single Porsche. So you see a little bit of marks here. That's in the PPF and uh, hopefully not on these stickers. These are stickers, folks. It's not painted on. Whole driver's side door looks terrific. Uh, I'm not even pointing that out. Nobody's going to see that unless you're that close up to the car. A couple little fingerprints, maybe a couple little itty bitty marks getting in. Folks, I really don't have anything to show you that stands out here, like here. A couple little marks that didn't make the PPF. So you got a couple little marks right there. It's just normal slop from the road. All this looks great. Getting in and out of the car looks terrific. This black insert here for the brakes looks great. 
rear driver's side wheel and tire, no curb rash. Gorgeous wheel. Tire fits in there perfectly. Small little scratch right here. All right. Whole rest of the fender, no dings. This black back here is in good shape. All this is in good shape. Tail lights seem to be blacked out. Um, or maybe they come that way. Super shiny, very cool. Uh, all this down here, all this looks good. I'm gonna work my way back up here for a second, folks, so I don't lose my spot before I hit the whole back bumper. This side of the spoiler looks terrific. <sighs> Got a little dust in here, but other than that, this window's great shape and there's no dings. There's a small scratch right here. <clears throat> and let's go back up to the windshield since we, <clears throat> since we haven't done this yet. A little bit of dust on it. Again, welcome to dusty Las Vegas. But other than that, uh, I don't, even with the dust here, I see just very normal, very, very small, little really blips in the windshield. No, it doesn't need to be repaired or fixed. It's all very, very normal. Uh, over here, the same. Back up to the roof, all this looks terrific. And the glass. Okay, and we'll take care of the passenger side in just a moment. Let's come back here. All this looks good. Folks, now I, I'm, I'm also, let me just mention this as well. Tons of clear coat on this car. Normally, you see a lot of clear coat marks just from cleaning it and all that kind of stuff too. I haven't really seen any clear coat marks either. You know, the stuff that can be detailed out easily. I haven't seen anything. I'm sure there might be some, but I mean, I'm just looking at this beautiful silver paint. Normally I'll see like little finger, you know, dirty finger marks, leave those imprint and little cuts into the clear coat. Even back here, like this is a famous spot to clean and it gets all banged up. It's wonderful back here, this whole back bumper. Yeah, all this down here, all this black is in great shape, all the silver, nobody's backed into anything back here. It's perfect. Okay, working our way up the driver's side now. Little bug. Our passenger side, sorry. Back here, everything looks... Uh, we have a small mark right here and right here. So right there and there. Very light. Uh, and another one right here. A small. This is a really small scratch right here from here to here. There might be another little one there, but not enough to talk about. Let's look at this wheel real quick. No curb rash on the wheel, we're in great shape. PPF, you can see that all down here doing the same protecting as it did on the other side. A little choppier over here down towards the bottom. This might be able to clean up just a little bit, but it's a little choppy down here. Uh, again, probably pretty darn normal driving one of these things down the road. Okay, uh, whole passenger side door looks good. The window tint looks terrific. This plastic is in great shape. All this looks great. Oh. Really small mark right there. Might be able to get cleaned off. Sorry, my fingers are dirty now. Side mirror is great. Black inserts look good. Just need to be cleaned up a little bit. And my driver's side passenger front wheel, no curb rash. Wow, it's no curb rash there. It's wonderful. Normally there's curb rash all over the place, folks. It's just what happens with used cars. Okay, so we got the exterior done. Looks terrific. Windshield wipers look good. Let's, uh, I think I have a remote in my pocket. I do, I do, I do. Let's open this front bonnet here. Remote works. Super nice and clean in here. Well, it's a little clean. Looks like a couple car washes missed, uh, you know, the, the side rails here, but I'll get that all cleaned up. Super clean bonnet down here. Luggage, comp luggage compartment. Okay. And this rear hatch back here. Carefully lift this up. Oh, that didn't get cleaned either. Okay, folks, sorry. The detailing being a uh, not as good as it should be. We'll get this cleaned up for photographs. 
so you can get that then. Okay. Interior. Yes. All right. Remote works. Open the doors too. It's good to know. All right. Getting in and out. We got a couple scrapes getting in and out of the car. This bolster over here, minimal wear, getting in and out of the car. These are one of the ones, you know, this was a fancy car, folks. You fall into these seats. You don't get in, you fall in. Um, the, uh, the suede and the door panels look terrific. The leather up here looks great. Um, I've got, I, I don't have a whole lot to say, folks. Quincy's gonna come over and show you the, the minimal wear getting in and out of the car over here. But I've got nothing else to point out right now except you know, the carpet looks good. Center console, suede looks good. Center console itself is nice and shiny, but we'll look at this a little clearer when we get outside in the sunlight, when we go for a test drive around the block. We do have a, a little extra room there back seat wise. I don't know what you'd put back there. Very small kid, a dog, a cat, but mainly a really small kid, I guess. But there is a little bit of room back there, obviously, and uh, uh, oddly enough. Okay, while well, Quincy shows you that side, I'm gonna come over here and look at this side. A little upset molding going on. Got that figured out. That just needs to be pulled up and around the thing. All right, good. That's fixed. Uh, just minor getting in and out of the car over here. The suede looks good. I don't see any stains on the seats. I, I it's just uh, you know, a little fire extinguisher down here. The carpet's in wonderful shape. Just normal wear, folks. It's a 2016 model, GT3 RS. So cool, so awesome to drive, folks. You wouldn't believe it. If you've never driven one of these cars, whew, unbelievable. Inside the door panel over here looks good. Okay, so sorry about the little detail infractions here. It's not so bad to see a car in the raw from time to time, but I'll get this stuff cleaned up for photographs, hopefully, and uh, then you go. But uh, yeah, go to celebritycars.com. You wanna learn any more about it. We're gonna go for a quick drive around the block. Make sure it stops, make sure it gets through the gears well, make sure I don't hear anything weird, rattles, any of that kind of stuff. So stick around. Hi folks, welcome back. 2016 GT3 RS. <sighs> folks, this car is just incredible. Incredible horsepower, incredible torque. You get going so darn fast in this thing, you can't even believe it. Are we gonna do that today? No, 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 no. Okay, so uh, we're gonna do a little test drive here. It's running, it's very hot out, so we're not gonna do a start and you get to hear it and all that stuff. It starts just fine, we're in good shape. Stereo system works good. Uh, the air conditioner's on at the moment, but uh, we've got 73 degrees in here. It's really pleasant. Uh, we're gonna drive down here to the end of the street. I'm gonna hit the brakes pretty good, make sure they do all the things. We're gonna go over some speed bumps. We're gonna get out on the road, and then we're gonna come back here and I'm gonna report back to you about uh, if I find any flaws or any of that kind of stuff. I've already spent some time in this car. I know how incredible it is. This, there's nothing bad to say about this car, but I have to do my job. And unfortunately, this is the fun part of it. I am going to use the paddles today. Okay, off we go. miles an hour I'm gonna hit these brakes pretty good three two and one Okay, back on the gas that there's there are zero issues with this car except just pure enjoyment and joy that's all I got for you folks Okay, speed bump number one. Stupid speed bumps. Not a creak, not a rattle, not a squeak, nothing. Speed bump number two. Sorry about the speed bumps. Okay, I don't see any traffic coming. I'm gonna speed up here real quick. And then uh, we're gonna get on it just a little bit, folks. Don't get too excited.
down into third. Got my turn signal on here. We're gonna make a right hand turn kind of hard, looking out for more rattles and such. Down into two. Beautiful right hand turn. Pretty good speed. Car doesn't even flinch. Hard left. I hope I have no weird noises. Quite the car. Needless to say. My left turn signal's on. I'm gonna pull back out on the road, head back to celebrity cars. Uh, so 702-818-1031. That's where you find uh, Andrew or Ryan. I'm happy to answer any questions for you. Left turn signal's on. Road's kind of crappy out here, folks, so sorry for the little extra noise. But yeah, 702-818-1031. Give the guys a call. You want a pre-purchase inspection, just let us know. We'll help you arrange that. And uh, uh, boy, and, and, and we'll read all about it at celebritycars.com. This car is just a, a masterpiece. They're very valuable. Um, they, they cost a lot of money, and there's a reason for it. This is the uh, uh, really close to a really good Ferrari um, and its mannerisms and uh, its, its drivability and how comfortable it is and just just incredibly responsive. This is a very, very special car. 702-818-1031. We'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.